This has got to be one of the worst abuses of mathematical notation that I have ever seen. So we have this problem, a function is defined as a sub n, and right away we're using subscript notation. Subscript notation, I typically tell my students, does not have mathematical value. In the sense that like a sub 2 doesn't mean square a, or do some kind of mathematical operation to a. It just means the value of the function a when you plug in 2. Or oftentimes we use this kind of notation for sequences, so it just means the second term in the sequence. We go on a sub n equals a sub n minus 1, a pretty typical use of this kind of notation. We're saying the next term in the sequence equals the previous term in the sequence, a sub n equals a sub n minus 1, and then we do something to that previous term. In this case, the something that we do to that previous term is we take a log base n plus 1, and this is where this just goes off the rails. Log bases do in fact have mathematical value. Log base 3, for example, means whatever this quantity is we have here, let's say it was 81, we figure out what power of the base is equal to the argument. In other words, here, what power of 3 makes 81? So the problem here is we're combining two totally different kinds of base notations. One that doesn't have operational value, that is the functional notation, a sub n, and then one that very much does have operational value, log base n, we do something numerically with that base. But I'll tell you what, we're going to do our best. We're going to try and solve this problem anyway. a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1, that is the previous term in the sequence, plus log log base n plus 1 of the quantity n minus 1. We're given a sub 1 equals 8, so we're given the first term in the sequence, and our job is to come up with a sub 3, the third term in this sequence. In this case, we're just going to iterate a couple times, so let's go ahead and find a sub 2. a sub 2 is going to be equal to a sub 2 minus 1, that's the n minus 1 here, plus log base 2 plus 1 of the quantity n minus 1. So again, in this case, that's going to be 2 minus 1. Let's go ahead and replace some of these 2 minus one of course is one, two plus one is three, and two minus one is one. So we have a sub two equals a sub one. Well, hold on a second. We know what a sub one is. It's equal to eight. So a sub two equals eight plus log base three of one. I kind of alluded to this earlier. A logarithm is really about an exponent. It's actually the inverse of the exponential process. So here we're asking the question, three to what power equals one? Fortunately, this has a very easy answer anytime our argument is 1, 1 is always the result when we raise any base to the zeroth power. So log base 3 of 1 is in fact 0, and so what we're getting here is that a sub 2 is equal to 8. It might be tempting to stop here and say, well, a sub 1 is 8, a sub 2 is 8, I bet a sub 3 is also 8. But let's go ahead and use our functions definition one more time. a sub 3 this time, this is the one that they're interested in, is equal to a sub 3 minus 1 plus log sub 3 plus 1, n plus 1, of n minus 1 itself, so that's going to be 3 minus 1. And again, what we're doing here is simply replacing n every time with 3 because we're finding the third term in this sequence. Once again, let's evaluate those different bases. 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 plus 1 is 4, and again, 3 minus 1 is 2. Also, just like before, we can replace a sub 2. We know that it's actually equal to 8. And then log base 4 of 2 is a little bit tougher. We're asking what power of 4 is 2, which is a little bit strange because normally we would say what power of 2 is 4. 2 squared makes 4, but that's actually the same thing as saying 4 to the 1 half power is 2. A square root and a half power are equivalent. So this log base 4 of 2 is actually equivalent to 1 half, and there Therefore, our a sub 3 is equal to 8.5, answer choice 2. So there you have it, fun little problem with some of the worst mathematical notation I have ever seen. If you have enjoyed this video, please like the video, stick around, subscribe, and get the notifications on. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.